excuse me we can't make you very comfortable here and josh's procedure is likely to take 12 to 14 hours so i'm sorry they told me i should come back here Is there word on the president? The president's gonna be fine. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. That's the best news I've ever heard. I got here as fast as I could. I had a hard time getting in. I, I, had, to, I had to find an agent who knew me, and I, I was shaking. It was just, I didn't know anything. Donna. Josh was hit. Hit with what? He was shot in the chest. He's in surgery right now. I don't understand. I don't understand. Is, is it serious? Yes, it's critical. The bullet collapsed his lung and damaged a major artery. I was just saying, we can't make you very comfortable here, and the procedure's likely to take 12 to 14 hours. We won't know anything until morning. I'm sure there are things you're supposed to be attending to right now, so if you like, we can stay in touch with you at your homes and offices throughout the night. in 10 minutes when he's done i'll talk to the press i'm gonna go back to the residence and pick up some things for the president You know, I, I should ask, is there anything I'm supposed to be doing right now? No. I mean, anything that Josh's office is supposed to be doing, should, should I be making sure it's farmed out? No, I'm sure it's covered. Josh Lyman, uh, no, he's not available right now. Uh, this afternoon, he's got a media session and then a four o'clock with finance. If you leave your name, I can give Josh the message when he gets back. Thank you very much. Hi. Hey. Who are you? I'm Donna Moss. Who are you? I'm Josh Lyman. Ah. Yes. I'm your new assistant. Did I have an old assistant? Maybe not. Who are you? Uh, I'm Donna Moss. I came in to volunteer, and the woman assigned me to you. Which woman? Betsy. You mean Margaret? Yes. Who are you? I'm Donna Moss. I'll be working as your assistant. I need to talk to Margaret. Uh, actually, Josh. Yeah? When I said I was assigned to you, yeah? I may have been overstating it a little. Who are you? I'm Donna Moss. I drove her from Madison, Wisconsin. When did your boyfriend break up with you? What makes you think my boyfriend broke up with me? Well, you're too old for your parents to have kicked you out of the house. I'm here because I want to work for Bartlett. I'm a college graduate with a degree in political science and government. Where did you graduate? Who? Hmm? Where did you graduate? Okay, but when I said I graduated, yeah. I may have been overstating a little. Look. I, I, I was a couple of credits short. <clears throat> From where? University of Wisconsin. And you majored in political science and government? And uh, sociology and psychology. Uh-huh. And biology for a while with a minor in French. Okay. And uh, drama. You had five majors and two minors in four years? Two years. Okay, listen. I had to drop out. I had to drop out. Your boyfriend was older than you? I think that question's of a personal nature. Donna, you were just at my desk reading my calendar, answering my phone, and hoping I wouldn't notice that I never hired you. Your boyfriend was older? Yes. Law student? Medical student. And the idea was you'd drop out and pay the bills till he's done with his residency? Yes. And did you? Yes. And why did Dr. Freeright break up with you? <laughs> what makes you think he broke up with me? Donna, this is a campaign for the presidency and there's nothing i take more seriously than that this can't be a place for people to come to find their confidence and start over why not i'm sorry why can't it be those things 
because... Well, is it going to interfere with my typing? Donna, we're picking up today and going to South Carolina. If you want to stay in the Manchester office... I want to come to Charleston. I can't carry you, Donna. I got a lot of guys out there not making the trip. I'll pay my own way. With what? I'll sleep on the floor. I'll sell my car. Eventually, you're going to put me on salary. Donna. Look, I think I can be good at this. I think you might find me valuable. Go ahead. Bartlett for America, Josh Lyman's office. Uh, yes. I think I'm gonna have somebody from the press office get back to you if it relates to... Yes. Uh, yes. 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 To Leo. Knock yourself out. Donna. Yes? Are you going to see Josh? I'm taking him his lunch. Can I come? No. Listen. No. Donna. We know the rules. The rules are dumb. The rules are not dumb. Donna, seriously. I'm perfectly serious, Toby. He's recovering from an attempted murder. He's supposed to be resting, and I don't want people going over there getting him fatushed. Fatush. Don't bring the Yiddish unless you know what you're doing. You know what word should be Yiddish but isn't? Donna. Spatula. Thank you. Also far-fetched. I need to talk to him about it. The hate crimes and how to best bring it to the president. He's got the papers you wrote. He's got the materials who sent him. You talked to him on the phone 93 times a day. And I'd like to go to his apartment and talk to him. No. Donna. Maybe if you hadn't said the rules were dumb. Yeah. yeah that's... Everybody should have to stay inside for three months so that they truly appreciate the outdoors. I appreciate the outdoors now. I'm an outdoorsman. Josh? Yeah? I said I'd let you outside if you stop talking about being an outdoorsman and if you stop talking about theoretical physics. Aha! You thought I'd forget about it, didn't you? Banner headline five days ago, model for the unified theory solved. Banner headline in the New York Times. You said it wasn't going to be news. Hey, you're wearing my pajamas. Yes, I am. Take your coat off. Let me see. Those are too big. Yes, they are. All this time I've been working with you, did you also think I was playing power forward for the Cleveland Cavaliers? I think they look good on you. I think you're both freaks. What do you have? You're not going to believe it. How'd they go? Twelve races, and none of them did the incumbent win. And none of them did the party that previously held the seat win. You know how it went? Seven five. Your kid. Seven Republicans, five Democrats. Yeah. The house stayed the same. After four months and four hundred million dollars, everything stayed the same. Yep. Tell me democracy doesn't have a sense of humor. <laughs> we sit here, we drink this beer. Out here in this stoop, in violation of about 47 city ordinances. I don't know, Toby, it's election night. What do you say about a government that goes out of its way to protect even citizens that try to destroy it? God bless America. God bless America. God bless America. God bless America. 
I don't feel that I've honed in on this. A lot of people in Africa with HIV. Right. American companies hold the patents on the medicines they make. Yes. Most people in most African countries can't afford to buy the drugs at these prices, so they buy them on the black market. In violation of U.S. patents and international treaties. Yes. How prohibitively priced are the drugs? It costs about 150 bucks a week. Well, that's not totally off the charts. A police officer in Kenya makes $43 a month. Too good in there. This isn't a... Donna! Don't shout. Donna, come here! Did you hear me say don't shout? No. You know why? Because you weren't shouting. That's right. That's right. What's the problem? They're still saying I owe them $50,000 and that failure to pay will result in a negative report on your credit. On my credit? On my credit. Sam! Don't shout. I got another letter. Don't worry about it. I am worried about it. I called an insurance guy. They're referring me to insurance code 4336. You know what that means? No. Okay. Uh, there's $50,000 worth of hospital bills they're saying they don't cover. You know what that means? You may have to get yourself a job mowing lawns after school. Sam. Don't worry about it. Sam! Don't shout. Sam. Hi. I'm doing the radio today. What's it about? You don't know what it's about? No. You're a speechwriter. I'm the deputy communications director. I don't do the radio address. I think this one's about leaves turning. Wouldn't be surprised. Will he take it seriously? The president? Yeah. And why wouldn't he take it seriously? He don't take it seriously. I'm not the one who has to read it. I'm saying it's the end of the week he gets a little punchy. He's not live. He can do another take. Remember last April? Yeah. Eleven takes. I remember. Eleven. What did he say? Insurance code 9336? 4336. I had to give those people keychains. What people? The guests at the radio address with the 11 takes. They were standing in the Oval Office for an hour and a half. I sent him home with White House keychains. Knock him dead. Yes, really. Stay here for a second. Why? I'm going to do my thing. I've seen that. Yeah, but I'm adding a joke. Sure, it's great. Just, you know. Sure. Excuse me. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the White House. My name is Donatella Moss. I work here in the West Wing as an assistant to Deputy Chief of Staff Joshua Lyman, which I guess makes me Deputy Deputy Chief of Staff. Okay, uh, we're going to go over to the Oval Office now, if you'll follow me. Take 17 looked like it was going to be a keeper till he went on elocution safari during the word protuberance. When did he finally nail it? Oh, he hasn't yet. He hasn't done it yet? There are matters of state to attend to, Josh. He can't spend the day, you know, indefinitely what in the What about the room. audience? I sent him home. I'm going to bring in a new audience. You know, like the old Carson show? What the hell are we talking about? Did you know leaf peeping was a thing? Josh Lyman. Leaf peeping? Yeah. Sam wants to see you. Insurance victory. And the weak shall be made mighty, Donna. Not might is right, but rather might for right. This relates to leaf peeping how? <clears throat> Doesn't. Don't eat my French fries. 